<laughs> Hi, this is Becky Speckhart with Experienced Mommy, and today I am talking to you about the Graco Modes Nest 3-in-1 Travel System with the Snug Ride 35 Light Elite Infant Car Seat that was provided by Graco for the purpose of this review. What makes this product unique is that it is 3-in-1. It has an infant car seat carrier, it has a bassinet, and it has a toddler stroller. And there's actually quite a few competitors out there for Graco. Evenflow, Hot Mom, Bugaboo, Mom Push, Maxi Cozy, Summer Infant, and so many more. So the previous Graco Modes travel system was identical to this one, except now there is a slide to me function that allows you to move the infant car seat as well as the toddler seat to whatever level you want it to be, to suit you or baby. If you're using this as a high chair at a park or a picnic table, you can slide it up high to be the height of whatever table you're at. Maybe you're using it for an older child sometimes and their legs are long, and maybe sometimes you're using it for a baby. It just gives you a lot of versatility to be able to slide that up to whatever height you want. Assembly was pretty straightforward, but I did have a hard time putting together the big back wheels with the brakes on the stroller itself. The important thing is that this spokes part is on the outside so that it can talk to the wheel that is going to slide into that piece and brake, okay? This direction slides in the top. Anyways, it was confusing. I hope you can learn from my mistakes and do that right the first time, but it's very forgiving with a flathead screwdriver if you need to pop it back out and fix it. This piece has made it a toddler seat. That black piece, you raise it, and it makes it like a toddler seat, which then you scrunch. One thing I noticed while I took this puppy out for a ride was that it was very smooth for me and for baby because the wheels are so big and the frame is very big. Just felt very easy to get out of my house and down the big steps because of that as well. I love that there is so much storage at the bottom you have plenty of height in between it, so a big old diaper bag can go under there. Okay, so let's be honest, mommy needs her Diet Coke. I love that they have a cup holder for mom or dad, that they're thinking about me. It's very lightweight, which is a big deal for me because I'm the one that's normally hauling it around, whether I'm going out to the park or I'm going to the mall or wherever I'm going. It opens extremely easy, just have to pop out the clasp that's holding it all together and pull it forward and breaking it down is very easy to you simply squeeze and pull back and then it all just folds in and snaps in very nicely. Definitely not compact. You'd be best suited to use this in a bigger vehicle because it is pretty wide. So it's not gonna be great for places like bathrooms or restaurants or things like that. Your sweet spot with this thing is gonna be taking a walk on a sidewalk or being outside in general. But obviously, if it's doubling as a bassinet, they're thinking more along the lines of bigger space. There are some strollers that are known for being more lightweight and compact, but the ride isn't as smooth. So oftentimes you can't have it both ways. So another big sell for this travel system is that it gives you a lot of options for the direction that you're putting Junior in their little pumpkin seat. They can be facing forward, they can be facing backwards, they can be put inside the bassinet, they can be put inside the toddler stroller, it can slide up and down, they are just very accommodating with whatever direction you want your baby to be, whatever height you want your baby to be, this stroller does all the things. And then if you're out going on a walk and your toddler or your baby falls asleep in the toddler stroller, you can just lay back and then they're laying straight on their backs. Let's talk about this bassinet. This is such a cool feature of this stroller. You take a toddler stroller and with one unsnapping of a clasp and it flattens. Then there's these right here that slide into here. It becomes a bassinet on wheels. Okay, but it's this black piece and what it does is it allows it to go flat like that. So talk about convenient for when you're going to somebody else's house and you need a place for your baby to nap. If you're staying in a hotel or if you're traveling to your parents' house, you have this bed in a lot of ways smaller than a pack and play. You can wheel that around very easily. 
I find that to be a huge strength. Any time you can take multiple baby items and make them into one, have it be a multi-use kid toy, it's a huge win for parents because baby stuff totally takes over your house. I think the bassinet is incredibly cool. I've never seen anything like that until now. So let's talk about the pumpkin seat for a minute. I love the nylon breathable mesh visor. I normally have these big, funky, kind of clunky, super thick visors. This thing is extremely breathable, extremely bendy. It shields from the sun, it does all the things, but it's just a lot more collapsible. It allows you to move around a lot easier without being so clunky, I love that. I also love that the way that you change the handle back and forth is one button on the top. Now, it is best if you're bracing yourself on some point in this thing, whether it's on the bottom or the side, but it's a button at the top. It's not like you're having to reach around in a car seat awkwardly to clasp it and move it forward or backward. It's one button at the top that allows you to push and go back and forth. So that was a big plus. As far as popping the base in and out of my minivan, my minivan is set up in a way that's very complimentary for any car seats. It's got those metal hooks in a very visible, easy place to click in. And that's what this car seat base has. And it did that with relative ease. After you've clicked them in, you're supposed to tighten it. You kind of have to push down on the base and pull up. Make sure that you weave that seat belt back up through the middle before you pull up. I tried to pull up on the side and it didn't tighten at all. And I was very mad. Okay, so let's look at this thing. This is new. So apparently this baby has different recline positions. Check in the level indicator for the appropriate one. All the way to the ground is one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. If the blue indicator is in the clear area, the restraint is level for infants zero plus months. If the blue indicator is partially in the notched area, the restraint is level for a child three plus. As far as feedback goes, I would say the weakest link for this Nest travel system is how the connection snaps in to the infant car seat as well as on the bassinet to the actual stroller itself. It does not slide in easy. I have to look at one side and then I have to go and look at the other. It's not just an obvious, easy click in. When you're fumbling to snap your baby in, holding it with one arm, it's pretty awkward. Because of that, I found myself having to find workarounds when I'm trying to put my baby that's in the pumpkin seat into the stroller. As long as that toddler stroller with the tray is up there first, you're gonna have a lot better luck snapping that baby in. Brakes, very importante. It's not super smooth how you get these into the part that clicks, so don't ever do it with the baby in there. For your convenience, there is a link listed below in the description that'll take you straight to this stroller. Please be sure to subscribe to this channel for more helpful reviews like this, in addition to lots of other helpful mom stuff. This has been Beck Spec, over and out.